Maybe you're new to Linux, or you've been using it for a little bit, and you've heard about this mysterious thing called the command line interface. Now you're curious what it is, why I would want to use it, and uh, you know, is it really as difficult as I've heard? Now, you can do most things in Linux with the graphical interface, but you can do so much more. The power behind Linux is the command line interface. Now, if you're just an average user that just wants to surf the internet, you probably don't even need this. But if you want to really know how your computer works, if you want to really make it do what you want to do, you should really learn the command line interface. Now, before you get into all the crazy stuff, we got to start with the basics. So let's, let's dive into the computer and teach you the basics of the command line interface. Okay, we are magically in the computer. Let's get started learning the command line interface. Now, the first thing you probably want to know is what is in the directory that you're standing in. Now, that's just with an ls command, which means list everything that's in there. And you can see I have two things in there, one called bar, one called foo. On Linux machines, they will color code uh, the different file types of different colors. And on my machine, blue means a directory. So no, I have two directories in here, one called bar, one called foo. Now, if I want to see what's in one of those directories, I can just type in ls space bar. And you can see I have three items in my bar directory. Now, that's pretty cool. Now, how do we get into that directory? I want to move into it. So I'm going to change directory with CD and then type in bar. Now, the cool thing about Linux is you don't have to type the whole word. Just type part of it and hit tab and it will auto complete for you. So with these really long file names, you don't have to remember it and type the whole thing in. Just hit tab and it will auto complete for you. So we did a CD into bar. And you can see I'm now in there because if I do an ls, you can see my three things. Now that's pretty cool. Now if you do an ls-l, you get a long uh, listing. And on the left, you see file permissions. And then a little further to the right, you can see the groups and the user who owns the files. And on the far right, you can see a timestamp. And then you can see the files. So let's say I want to copy, which is cp, my uh, picture, Nick and Selena Gomez to my home directory because I want to share that with uh, my friends. I mean, I'm going to send an email or something. So I'm going to copy that to my home directory. Now I'm going to do the little tilde, which means home directory, and hit return. Wow, it's there. I moved it. I mean, I didn't move it, but I copied it there. If I wanted to move it, I would type in MV space the file and then space the location I want to move it to, which is going to be my home directory. As you can see now, it is not there. It is moved to my home directory. And if you type in clear, it will get rid of the mess and all disappear. Um, one last thing uh, I'm going to show you is how to remove a file with the rm command. Now you have to be careful because this command is pretty powerful. If you, there's no trash can, there's no undo, there's no, oh, I didn't actually, I didn't mean to delete that, oops. When you delete this file off your computer, it is gone. It's off your computer. No more. Nada. Out of here. So if I type in remove stick.tgz and I hit return, as you can see, it's no longer there and it is gone. I can't undelete it. There's no trash can. Nada. It's out of there. So those are the, some very basic commands uh, to, to get you going in the command line interface. We have ls for list, list, and then ls dash, oop, ls dash l, oop, my bad, ls dash l, which is a long directory listing. You also have cd, cp, for uh, copy stuff. And maybe you do file, and then file, oop, then uh, file two. Uh, that's the original file name and where it's going. And then you can do also move the same way, move uh, file, and then file to uh, the original file and where you're moving it to. And there's also the CD, which is change directory, which is important if you want to actually walk around. And that's about it. So go ahead and try these out, play around with them, get used to them, feel comfortable with them, walk around your home directory, walk around the computer directories, copy some files, paste some files. You can even remove some files, just be careful because like I said, they're going to be gone. You're not going to have them anymore. Um, get used to these and once you're used to these, you can really start to get into the advanced stuff quickly and, uh, and comfortably. And also remember the cool thing is uh, tab autocomplete. So go ahead and try these out and tell me what you think. If you have any questions, leave or comments, leave them below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.